Mr. Leon Pereira had asserted that government tries to push a single dominant narrative without regard to the alternatives raised by the WP. I think it cannot be true. If not, we would not be having such extensive debates on so many issues in this House. I would say that many of the ideas raised in this House, including by the WP, are not fundamentally at odds with existing policies. They build upon the policies that we already have and make them better. Very often, WP as opposition wants more of what is already being done. Whatever the government proposes, ask for more. So here is one difference between our two parties. I don't think it's a major one, and it's again part and parcel of political contestation. But a fundamental difference arises when it comes to WP's ideas for the budget. Why is that so? Because to do more, one has to spend more, and one has to say where the money is coming from. However, the WP never supported the GST system. So an alternate budget without the GST simply cannot work and is not a viable alternative. The sums just don't add up. You cannot give up a major source of revenue and yet want to spend more in so many areas. I'm new to this subject. I may have misunderstood WP's position. Perhaps it has changed as long as Perhaps it has changed its long-held position and now accepts that GST is needed, but merely objects to the increase from 7% to 9%. Then to make up for the loss of 2 percentage point of GST revenue, the WP has proposed, amongst other things, changes to the NIRC formula. So instead of drawing half of NIRC for government spending, WP proposes to draw a higher amount, 60% or higher percentage at 60%. The PAP government will not agree to it. And this is a fundamental difference too, because it has to do with our beliefs and our values. Our view is that the reserves belong to all generations of Singaporeans, current and future, even though they are not born, they cannot vote, and their voices have yet to be heard. As responsible stewards, we will nevertheless safeguard their welfare and interests. It is very tempting, even seductive, to say let's shift half-half to 60-40. But we debated and enshrined the fiscal rules in our constitution not that long ago. We should not, at the first sign of need, push for changes in the rules just to take the easy way out.